Hello, and welcome to your video tour of Smart Science, the only real science online. And I just want to point out, before we get started, the two things that make Smart Science so special. Number one, all of our science content is videoed. We do not simulate or animate any science content within our labs. And number two, we follow the scientific method. Students have to make predictions, collect data, and verify whether or not their data supports or refutes the predictions they have made. It's a very special method of thinking that scientists use and is stressed within smart science. So without any further ado, let's get started with the Smart Science Lab on Daily Tides. Smart Science consists of five basic parts plus an extra credit for each lab. The Think page is an introduction, Hypothesize, where the students get to make predictions, Explore the lab, Reflect with a quiz, and Explain their results in a lab report. Here you see the basic Think page with a lab description plus some formative assessment questions. When the student submits their answer to this formative assessment, they immediately get feedback seeing which ones they got right and wrong, and an explanation of each question. Here's the second page, the hypothesized page, and on this page we have a tutorial video explaining a lot of the facets of how the lab works to the student. As well, we allow the student to make a prediction. They can pick that hypothesis from a list or they can write their own. And here I'm going to pick a hypothesis from this list and then move into the lab with this enter button. The lab page itself is very special in smart science because here we do our interactive video portion. Students get to view the real videos and measure right off of them as if they were doing the lab themselves in their own hands. In this particular lab we're going to be looking at the tides going up and down. So here I'm going to watch a video of the tides on a particular day. This is August 28th. Once the video is viewed all the way through, a measure button lights up, which I can press to interact with that video. Clicking on the video measures the position and time of a certain facet, in this case, height of the water. So very quickly here, I'm going to measure the height of the water throughout the day with this particular moon phase. The goal of the student is to gather enough data to try to support or refute the hypothesis that they have selected. So let's select a second day and try to also measure the tides on that day and see what happens. You can see the tides going up and down again. You can see that it is a different moon phase. And once I press this measure button, we will have a chance to tabulate some data from this day. Okay, I've now collected data from two different days, and I'm now going to use tabs below the graph area to compare my graphs. Here we see August 28th, and here we see September 4th. And I notice the graph for September 4th is quite a bit taller than the graph for September 28th. This actually contradicts the prediction that I made. Very interesting for the scientific method. Let's move on and see the rest of smart science. We do have some other parts on this page, some other supporting materials. We have a biography of a scientist for every lab, so you can read about a particularly relevant scientist in discovering this topic. We also have vocabulary words accessible from a dictionary right here by pressing this button. You'll notice all kinds of different terms related to tides and earth science available in this particular dictionary. And now we can press this Take Quiz button to get assessed on how much we've learned from the lab. This is our Reflect page, and the student can go ahead and answer these questions, submit their answers, and find out which ones they got right and wrong right away with an explanation for each. This immediate feedback is very important in the learning process. Once the quiz is finished, a Write Report button appears, and we can go ahead and write about our experience. Notice that with each area the student can write, they have some bullet points that they must follow. Please write in the boxes 
to fulfill the learning objectives for this area. Once the student has written in all of the text boxes, they may submit the answers to this lab report and they have finished one activity in Smart Science. I thank you for your time with me today and hope that you're really as excited about teaching great science as we are here at Smart Science. Try that again. I thank you for your time watching this tour of a lab in Smart Science and I hope you are just as passionate as we are at teaching great science.